Hey, I'm Dave Colombo, and this is News to Me. The candidates took the stage for another Democratic debate to bring America's attention to what really is the hardest job in the country, and by that I mean the sound engineer trying to get the levels right on Bernie Sanders' mic. It is ironic the guy who loves to shout, let's be clear, is also the guy most likely to blow out a speaker while doing so. Beto O'Rourke said, hell yes, we're taking your AR-15, fulfilling his requirement to curse, but showing restraint and not calling gun owners a bunch of f hard pieces of f bull The line got an applause break, but that's not exactly swaying any new voters. AR-15 owners and people who can pronounce his name looks less like a Venn diagram than it does a chart of the spatial distance between the Earth and the Moon. Julian Castro tried to score some points during a debate on health care, accusing Joe Biden of forgetting what he said, though how Castro is polling, he should be more concerned about Americans forgetting his name. Andrew Yang announced he'll give 10 American families $1,000 a month for a year paid by his campaign. A wonderful gift to anyone dumb enough to think Andrew Yang will have a campaign a year from now. Though until any of these candidates can doctor a weather map and golf during a hurricane and cage children while tweeting classified photos and dodging rape allegations, they'll never convince voters they're as good at multitasking as our current president. Cool? Cool.